1981, uh, rather tough year for you. You entered 14 tournaments, uh, won one of them. Uh, how did you feel uh, about having so few tournaments and the mishap that happened? Well, it was, uh, you might say, rather shocking. Uh, you know, you never think you're going to hurt your hand when you're out playing golf, but I did. I hit a root, and, you know, you just have to sit the year out and watch everyone, and for me to sit the year out, it wasn't very easy. To play 14 tournaments and still finish 35th on the money list is uh, pretty impressive. Well, I, I had really got off to a good start. I was playing probably as well as I've ever played, and, uh, you know, what can you say? Sometimes things like that happen, and I just got to get it back and forget about it. You're known as a long ball hitter, but uh, you're still with the old conventional woods. A lot of uh, players have gone to the metal woods. Well, I guess they have, but I think that, you know, you play with what you got here with. And uh, for me right now, the natural wood is, uh, is the way I want to go. Have you added any yards onto your long drives? No, I probably took off a little bit, just going for a little more accuracy. You know, the name of the game, you've got to have a little distance to play, or should I say, you've got to have more direction than distance, but the distance does help. What's your plan for 1982 uh, for tournaments you're going to play in and that kind of thing? Well, I'm going to try to play all the majors, uh, the Can uh, Canadian Open for sure, and uh, the Western Open to name a few, but I'm just going to try to get back out here and play again, get my game back, and you know, just see what comes up. How's it been for you so far this year? Well, I played pretty well. I finished fourth once, six twice, and uh, out of five tournaments, so I can't complain about that. The other two tournaments, I think I was kind of out in left field. I was, you know, sometimes you get out and you're ready to play some weeks, and other weeks you got the blahs, and I just really wasn't playing that well, and I was just trying to get around, I think. Well, in 1980 here, you certainly didn't have the blahs. Uh, you played very well. Well, yes, I did. It, uh, while I was very good to me, and, you know, I hope, I would like to see the conditions like they are now, if the winds blow like they are, the golf course is going to play tougher than it's played in the last few years, and I always think that's an advantage for me. What's the difference between shooting, uh, say, a par and a 63? That day you shot a 63, uh, what was going through your mind? Why was it such a hot day for you? Well, I was trying to birdie every hole, and I just couldn't get them quite all in. But, uh, no, you know, you get out. If you get off to a good start, say birdie in the first couple of holes, and uh, you pl I think you play a little more aggressive. You hit your putts a little more aggressive. You, sometimes you don't play quite as much break and go ahead and try to just knock them in the hole if you have short putts. And, uh, you know, it's just sometimes the birdies just happen to fall. Tell us about uh, the changes in the TPA Tour and how they would affect somebody like yourself, and what are your comments? Well, for me, I, I hope they won't affect me that much, you know, being exempt, uh, being, uh, I guess, in the all-time top 50. Uh, I've been very fortunate, but for some of the qualifiers, it's going to be a long year. You know, if they don't qualify, then they have to sit out a year, and that's, I think that's going to be pretty tough. Is it going to hurt the younger golfers, do you think? Well, yeah, well, it's, you know, it would be the younger golfers or the golfers that are just starting to try to get their cards. I know some of the guys can come out here and play on, say, for one year on their Class A, and some can come out and play because of other exemptions for a year. But for the most part, uh, I believe some of the young guys that are trying, it's going to be a long, you know, tough season for them. What's the uh, big tournament for you this year? Uh, you say you're going to play in most of the big ones. Uh, what is the big one? Every tournament I play, you know, I've got to come back out and, you know, prove to myself I can win again, and that's teeing it up. Every tournament I tee it up and try to win that tournament. You don't have any feeling of a sore hand at all at this point? No, I just need to get back out and play a little bit. I think I still need to build my arm up a little bit, but, you know, that's going to come with more practice and more play, so I'm just thankful to be back out. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> Thank you.